So you're wanting to know whether an INFP likes you or not. So it's going to be a little bit of a tricky process because INFPs aren't exactly the most straightforward people when it comes to expressing their romantic interests in other people. So INFPs are notoriously known as being conflict avoidant. And I think this plays such a huge role in expressing uh, emotions towards other people. So if an INFP likes somebody, they have to take into account the fact that this person might reject them. And if somebody rejects an INFP, they're gonna have a really hard time because INFPs are naturally sensitive people. And that conflict that comes with being rejected is almost unbearable for a lot of INFPs. So INFPs just aren't really the type that are gonna come out and say exactly how they feel. So the easiest way for you to speed up this process and to find out whether an INFP likes you, and this will seem pretty obvious, but I think it's the quickest and easiest way for you is to simply ask the INFP yourself whether they like you, if you like them, you know, and you're wanting to start a relationship. I think that that is a good idea because an INF, it's, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the door for an INFP to actually express their feelings. Because I think a lot of INFPs are going to be looking for an in when it comes to sharing how they feel about somebody. So if you're talking to an INFP, you know, and you're like, okay, well, this person seems really cool and I'm wanting to, to start something up with them. And the INFP is probably sitting there thinking like, I really want to express, you know, how I feel about this person, but I don't want to ruin it. I'm trying to avoid, you know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be rejected. I'm trying to avoid the conflict, you know, and if you come out and you say, hey, I like you, like, do you like me back? I think INFPs are going to be like, yes, you know, they're, they're waiting for that. They, they really want to be able to feel like they can do that. But sometimes it just seems like it's so hard. It's, um, I visualize like this big wall of fear that, that happens a lot of times when it comes to romantic interests in INFPs. So another a sign that an INFP likes you is that, and this is a big one, is that they're trying to spend a lot of time around you. So you're wanting to know whether that INFP likes you. They're spending a lot of time, they're going out of their way to get to know you. That's a huge sign that the INFP likes you. So INFPs are so curious about just things in general because of, N E and because of F I, it's like you know we want to know what things mean, what the possibilities, what can exist, what what things are out there, and then what those things mean to us. And so we want to know everything about everybody. And so if an INFP is asking you like five million questions about yourself, and those questions are like deep, meaningful questions, not just you know surface level, but they're asking about you know, what, what your beliefs in, on certain issues are or like what your life philosophy is or what direction you're headed in life or what your past was like, like deep, deep questions, then that's a huge sign that the INFP likes you. I think uh, another sign that an INFP likes you is that, uh, and it's a little funny, but um, that they're acting really kind of goofy around you because I think INFPs, they're naturally goofy, but when they get around somebody that they're romantically interested in, they, you know, and I, I just kind of did it right there. I was going to say flip up on their words. They slip up on their words. That's just, that's what happens. They might make jokes that are a little awkward, you know, because they're just, they're kind of nervous. They're, they're interested in you, you know, potentially. And, and if they're tripping up on words and they're acting a little bit goofy around you and you notice around other people, they're not quite as goofy. I mean, that's a huge sign that the INFP likes you. You know, another sign that an INFP likes you is that they are, you know, expressing how they feel about you in songs or in art or in some other creative fashion. So a lot of times, you know, INFPs don't know how to express their feelings in a verbal sense. And so what they'll do is they'll express things in an artistic context. So an example would be like, you know, if, if an INFP likes you, they might write a song and it, and it might be a song that's not even like directly about you, but it might be a song that is like loosely about you. Or maybe it's a song that captures the emotion that that INFP feels, but it's not directly about you at all. But it, there's some sort of emotional reflection within that piece of art that, um, that points toward them liking you. And I know that's that's a hard thing to see because you might not have access to an INFP's art. But if you asked about it and they're explaining it to you and they're saying, hey, I wrote a story and it's about this 
this guy who's in love with this girl or it's, you know, or this girl that's in love with this guy. And, you know, that, that could be a sign because they're writing a story about love. And, you know, if they're in the midst of a burgeoning relationship, I don't know if I use that word right or not, um, in the midst of like a new potential relationship, um, that's a great sign that, that INFP is actually like really into you and that they're digging you. Um, and so, yeah, like, you know, INFPs, they, they're not straightforward. They have a hard time expressing their emotions for you. Don't take it personal if they like you, but they still don't make a move on you because INFPs like never make the first move. I mean, okay, well, I'll take that back. Okay. So some INFPs might make the first move, but just from personal experience myself, so I'm 41. I've never made the first move on any... Okay, I take that back. Now, now that I'm saying it, I've made the first move on somebody, I think, like one time when I was in high school and it was like not even a direct move. It was like I, it was like a poem I wrote for somebody um, and then I, I tried to give to her. So um, most of the time, 99% of the time, INFPs aren't going to make the first move, no matter what. Doesn't matter who they are guy, girl, doesn't matter. It's, it's not, uh, not important to the context, to the, the situation.